I hate cis people. I will never not hate cis people. Welcome back to another video, guys. My name is AJ. Guys, we are making sense. Comment again. Do not bring your feelings to the chat. So if you are easily offended, this is not the channel or the video for you. Cis, cis, gendered. I know there are a lot of mixed and strong emotions, opinions, and feelings when it comes to the term cis or cisgendered. Today, we're talking about it. We're getting into it. Before we start, though, I do want to give a little disclaimer. Cis is not a part of my personal vocabulary. I refer to a man as a man a woman as a woman, a trans man as a trans man, and a trans woman as a trans woman, respectfully. I'm gonna dissect my personal opinion on the term cis a little bit later in the video, but I did just wanna say that because I am gonna be using the term throughout the video. So just to add some clarification on that, before we get started, give this video a thumbs up, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and also comment down below before we get started, what is your opinion on the term cis? So I took to Instagram a few days ago, make sure you guys are following me on Instagram and asked you guys, wanted to open up the conversation, open up the floor, your opinion on the term cis. When I tell you the answers began flooding in, the overwhelming majority, you guys do not like the term cis. You don't wanna be called a cis man. You don't wanna be called a cis woman. And I cannot say I'm surprised learning this because I've seen the conversations in my comment section before of people saying they do not want to be called cis. Of course, there were some people who do not mind. And this actually surprised me. There were quite a few people who find the term cis derogatory. Now, cut back to the beginning of this video. That creator was actually responding to one of my videos referencing me as a cis man saying, I hate cis people. Actually, let me just let them speak. Here we are again. Cis people be cis people and cis people be cis and Maybe Cicerin. Cis little throne, you sissy little throne. I find it interesting this creator feels it's okay for them to come onto social media and say, I hate cis people, mocking cis people, when God forbid, if we were to exchange, right, cis and trans, oh my God, that person would never be able to live it down. I just wanna say to that creator who made that video about me, congratulations, you're doing amazing, sweetie, creating a bigger divide between the cis community, trans community, creating more hatred, more animosity. You think you're doing God's work, but really you're kicking yourself in the long run. There were quite a few people also who don't even necessarily know what the term cis means, which is understandable. It's a fairly new term coined in 1994 and entered into dictionaries in 2015. Prefix comes from the Latin meaning on this side and when referencing the trans and cis community simply means that the gender that you identify as is the gender that you were assigned at birth. So for me, I am a cis male because I identify as male and obviously, bitch, that's what I was born as. Whenever I read or hear this term, it's always used to talk negatively about those people, especially about cis men. Example, of course, a cis man would say something stupid like that. I don't really care about being called that, but I understand why some do. Some don't want labels other than woman or man, especially women who have been going through menstruation for years and don't wanna be referred to as anything other than just a woman. I feel like the same group that complains about people not respecting their preferred pronouns are the same people that get pissy and angry when someone asks not to be called cis. Now I can attest to this because I, like I said, I've seen the conversations in my comment section before. When a person says, I do not like the term, I don't wanna be referred to as that. It seems as though a person within the community feels the need to step in and say, it simply means this. I don't know what your issue is with it. And then continues to call them cis. Respect is a two-way street. If you would like to be referred to by your preferred pronouns, I feel as though if somebody does not want to be called cis, you should respect that as well. Cassie says, it's like we already had our rights taken away regarding our bodies. Now our identity as women feels like it's being taken away as well. Last one, and then I'm going to give my opinion and final thoughts. It's a slap in the face to be referred to as cis. Back in 2018, 19, trans women we're all over the internet saying that trans women and women need to stick together. I supported that because I'm pansexual, so why wouldn't I support my community? But it randomly turned to trans women referring to us women as cis, and I've even seen bigger trans women, bigger in following, go as far to say that cis women could never be as great as them and that they are just better. What happened to us having each other's backs? What happened to being there for each other? And how and when did it become a competition? I'm confused, but most importantly, I will not stand for it. I bleed every month out of my actual uterus. That makes me a woman, not a cis. My opinion of the term cis, it is not a part of my vocabulary. I'm indifferent about it though. I don't use it. I refer to women as women, men as men, trans women as trans women, and trans men as trans men respectfully. I feel as though if your gender currently does not match your assigned gender at birth and you are trans, 
that's great. But there's no need to then project these terms onto the cis community. That being said, if cis is the worst thing that I'm called that day, it's a pretty great day. I'm not gonna freak out, spaz, or I don't think it's this, this derogatory or slur term. I feel like words only have as much value as you give them. And I don't think it's that big of a deal to be called cis, but that's also coming from me, a gay man where I've been labeled, I've been grouped, I've been boxed for as long as I can remember based off of my sexuality. I think the biggest disconnect, and I'm only basing this off of the feedback that I received on my Instagram post, is the rapid progression when it comes to the LGBTQ movement and this new terminology such as not only cis, but birth giver, chest feeder. The majority, if not all of the women that responded to my Instagram post, they are allies to the LGBTQ community. They wanna support us. They simply do not want their experiences, their unique experiences as a woman and the beauty that comes with womanhood to be dismissed. I do think that all of this new terminology, these new labels are creating a bigger divide between the LGBTQ community and the cis heterosexual community. I always say a forceful and aggressive nature is never the way to go about it. And in this case, an instance forcing this new terminology onto a community that didn't ask for it is only gonna create animosity, only gonna create that pushback. And like we said, respect is a two-way street. We have to respect to get respect in return. The last thing I'm gonna say about this is it's not always what you say, right? It's how you say things as well. And if you're using these terms in a way that is derogatory or in a slur fashion. I mean, I've never been thought about cis as a slur until I experienced it firsthand when this creator responded to my video. The term should simply be used to differentiate between the two groups of people regarding their gender identity, but unfortunately it's not always used in that fashion. And I think that's why people are becoming so offended by these terms. That's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and comment down below your opinion on everything that we discussed today. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one.